guys welcome back to the channel today we're inside the shelter of Abel and I do believe it's time to do a little bit of a cleanup in this area here so as you can see our current setup we have a DeWalt 12 volt thousand watt inverter for backup which we've never had to use. Uh, we've got a Xantrex 1800 watt inverter, 24 volt, works fantastic. No problems whatsoever with it. We've also got a charge controller. Uh, it says Schneider on it, but I believe they're made by Xantrex now. And to go along with that, <laughs> Well, here we've got a 24 volt, 2.5 amp battery tender, which you can plug into shore power to charge the batteries if you don't have solar or it's winter time or whatever. And then we've got remotes for both the solar and the inverter. I think it's time to do a little cleanup in this area and do an upgrade. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Let's go out to the garage and I'll show you what we got. Okay guys, as you can see here, we've got a 24 volt, 70 amp, 3000 watt charger inverter. So this is going to replace that little 24 volt battery tender and the both of the inverters that are in the shelter. And then this is the solar charge controller with a smart control readout. And this will replace the Xantrex solar charge controller in the shelter. So I'm not gonna do any time lapse on this because uh, in the past you guys have gotten frustrated because it's electrical is so time consuming and boring. But I will do a step by step as I go. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is go in the shelter and clear off that wall. Get everything out of there that we don't need, including the remotes. Um, and then those items I'll probably list for sale on Facebook Marketplace or the LMTV Facebook page, one of the two, uh, for a smoking deal for somebody. Those Xantrax inverters are bulletproof, and uh, if you go on eBay, you can find tons of parts available for them, so if anything ever goes wrong, there is a large market for those, um, and the solar charge controller is, is bulletproof as well. It's just relays and... Uh, a little circuit board inside and it's been working great for us for the last two or three years so but yeah I'm gonna go out to the truck clear off of space on the wall and then I'll come back and show you guys what we've got going on next okay I got everything demoed out that I believe needs to come out so we've cleared up quite a bit of space on the walls I went through and sickaflexed all of the little screw holes that were in the walls once again this is not a perfect um, showroom shelter build. The way I built this out was utilitarian. So stuff is easy to get to and it just serves a purpose to be able to stay in here and be comfortable. Um, and yeah, it is a really good shelter. But I've gone through and made so many changes and whatnot. There are quite a few uh, tiny little screw holes everywhere, but nothing that Sikaflex can't fix. Ultimately, Maybe in the future, I'd like to um, continue on with this FRP and run that along the walls, but that would be a time consuming task. So now we gotta figure out um, where exactly I wanna put the components. Um, ideally, I'd like to put, you know, the solar charger there and the inverter here, but I think because of the mini split being on the outside and these, um, rack bolts going through I don't think it's gonna fit there so I may end up having to mount it back down there but uh, 
We're going to find out here in a little bit when I start bringing the stuff in here. In case you're wondering, this is everything I took out. So all of those components that you see right there are being replaced by two simple components. And these are expandable and upgradable. Um, there is a remote similar to this, but it has a color TFT screen on it that I'm probably gonna end up getting. Um, this little readout here is being replaced by this, which goes on here. So uh, yeah. I will try to leave links in the description for these two items and like I said all of this stuff is going to be available on the LMTV Facebook play page or Facebook marketplace so um, if you're on that page this video may have come out after that stuff's already been sold so <laughs> just keep that in mind. But yeah I'm going to bring all this stuff in there and see uh, where we can uh, start thinking about mounting it. Alright guys as you can see I got both of the components mounted. Look at all that space it freed up. All that junk that was on there. Well, it's not junk, it's just an outdated system, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I started the wiring process. It looks like uh, I'm gonna have to make some new cables for the inverter. Not a big deal, I have plenty of that stuff left over. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, should go together pretty nicely. I'll come back when we're finished up and we'll turn it on and see how it works. Well guys, moving right along, I got a majority of this wired. And so the way I set it up is you've got ACN, which will be coming from shore power, which is that orange receptacle down there. And then you've got AC out one and two. One of those is going to the mini split. And one of those is going to the receptacles and the shelter, which is that brown or black circuit and I've got a few of those around the shelter. Um, everything's basically ready to turn on. I'm gonna dress up these wires and then I'll come back and we'll turn it on together and watch the smoke come out of everything. That's your favorite thing to see on this channel is when things blow up. So we're gonna make sure that happens here. You guys stuck around for the smoke show? Well, everything's wired. I triple checked everything, but that doesn't mean that I didn't do something wrong, so. Let's start flipping breakers and waiting for things to pop. <laughs> Looks like the controller turned on. Solar controller, it's looking for a setup. I'll have to go through the menu there and set that up. I'll come back. Well, I didn't really have to do much because all of the default settings in the uh, menus that came up were the exact setup I need. So they're set up for um, deep cycle marine batteries, lead acid. And uh, right now you can see this, it's actually picking up the panels. Um, you can go in and adjust so many parameters on this. It's Pretty overwhelming. I'll have to monkey around with that at a later time but uh, yeah it looks like uh, we're charging we're in the bulk and then um, there's so many menus on this thing it's crazy uh, and then we've got the inverter slash charger set up here I haven't turned it on yet but uh, let's see what happens here So the mini split went into standby mode when I turned it on there. Now the one thing I don't have is a little screen that shows the amperage draw from the batteries. Um, so I will definitely have to get the controller that goes along with this Victron components. They make a couple different ones. I'm probably going to get the TFT one that's got the nice color screen on it. I really like the look of that. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be working as normal. 
Um, let's see what happens here just for the heck of it when we turn the mini split on. So yeah, it is definitely working. And it looks like the solar charger is already drawn in. Quite a bit of uh, amperage and ramping up the volts. So I'll have to monkey around with the system and uh, get, get used to its behavior. It's probably a lot different from the uh, previous setup that was in here. But I think that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, you're going to want to stay tuned. I've got some more um, Able Build Series episodes, obviously, that pertain to this. And uh, I'm thinking the remote might go over here somewhere. But you'll have to stay tuned. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.